in this we are going to see a four bit ring function for this we have to take this uh, take a flip four take a flip we are going to use each will store one bit of information so under you can find the jk flip flop under this memory now we have to connect all the clocks first let us connect the clock symbol all the clocks to single clock You can find the clock under the wiring. Yes. Oh, for all these JK flip flop, clock signal is connected. Now we have to keep the output of Q to the other flip flop input J. This output from this flip flop is given as input for the next J. So here, as the last. Now we have given uh, the Q output to our next J, Q output to the next J, and so on. Now, same way, the Q bar is given as an input for the K. Okay, the so last Q bar. First, K. Now we are going to check how the bit is. Rotated in J. That is why it is called a ring token. So, first, let us give uh, the input first to J and K. I'll, or else, you can connect an input to this J and you can give the, when you press that input one, it will be entering into this uh, first J. But instead, I have given directly inside the data J1. Now, this is lowering it. Now, during the rising edge, see, this one edge shifted here, here, zero. The one which is in this zero it has come here. Now again, I press now lowering edge, no change. Rising edge, see the, the one here, it goes there. The zero where it comes inside. Now again, yes, you can see that. Now if you want to be more clear, you can check that out too. Now I change this one, and then we'll see how these two bits are rotating. See the last one, it has come here. Now again. The shift, the one which is here, it has come. So check that. The, la the zero here it has come inside, and zero here it has come inside. like this. So since it's a ring, it goes like a ring, it's called a ring counter. 